Tonight I'm going to show you guys my Bath and Body Works Antibacterial Gentle Foaming Hand Soap Collection. I've been collecting these probably the fall time last year of 2012. So it really hasn't been a long time. And I wouldn't really say collecting, I would say just purchasing in large quantities. <laughs> I absolutely love these soaps. I go into Bath and Body Works specifically to hoard antibacterial soap. <laughs> I absolutely adore them. I love how they dress up the bottles for the seasons and the holidays. And I honestly could not picture my bathrooms without these soaps. I've tried several different hand soaps in my bathroom and I've never been as pleased as I am once I switched over to these. When I first started buying these soaps, I started out with these two here. These were the fall of 2012, the Creamy Pumpkin and the Cranberry Harvest. These are a little different. These are actually the deep cleansing. The deep cleansing are the ones that have the granule scrubs in them, and they really are nice. They help exfoliate the dead skin off of your hands, and they really feel like they clean your hands well. Unfortunately, I had to stop using them because they started using a, a, leaving a residue at the bottom of my sinks, and I was constantly cleaning it up, and it was so annoying. I got tired of it after a while, so I switched over to the foaming, the gentle foaming, and I like it a lot better. So so there's absolutely nothing wrong with these, it's just a matter of preference. But look how pretty the artwork is on the outside of the bottles. Like I said, I couldn't imagine my bathrooms without these at this point. I absolutely adore them. Now the Creamy Pumpkin was my favorite scent of 2012 and they have brought it back for 2013. I did see it and I didn't purchase it because I knew I had this one at home, but I'm actually going to go back and purchase it because I'm wondering if they changed the scent or if it's the same. And this, like I said, is my favorite scent so there will be no problem using it. Okay, the next soaps I purchased were the ones for Halloween 2012. How cute are these soaps? These are the cutest bottles I have ever seen. And I just love seeing these on my sink during Halloween time. I had such a blast with them last year. This is the one that got used the most. This was in my guest bathroom. And I believe there was a time when I had this one in my master and this one in my master. I purchased them close to Halloween time, so I really didn't have a long time to use them absolutely adorable. The first one was pumpkin and then the next one is the blueberry. Then we have the vampire blood and the final one is creamy pumpkin. Really really loving these. Now the fun thing about these soaps here is the labels glow in the dark. I had such a blast last year going to my bathroom at nighttime around Halloween and getting spooked out by my soaps because they were glowing in the dark. <laughs> now I can't show you the glow in the dark on the video. It won't work, especially with all my lighting, but I did take a picture of it last year. So I'll insert it here so you guys can get a kick out of my glow in the dark soap pictures. <laughs> How cute is it that they actually glow in the dark? Okay, now the next soaps that I purchased were the 2012 holiday Christmas time soaps. I purchased these four last year and they were the Hollyberry Wreath, my favorite of all four, the Iced Gingerbread, how cute is that gingerbread man, the Fresh Sparkling Snow, which I actually put out in January time frame. It was the perfect soap for January. And then the Winter Cranberry. Also, awesome labels on these. They're so pretty, and I just love to see them on the counters of my sinks. Now, these here I purchased in March of 2013 for St. Patrick's Day. How cute is the Leprechaun? I absolutely love him. And I did use it a lot, if you can see. This was my master, I'm sorry, my guest bathroom one, and this was the one used in my master bathroom. And the levels are pretty much the same. But the reason why I'm showing you this is because these soaps do have available custom, not custom, but special sleeves that you can put over them. And they come in all different kind of colors and patterns. I only purchased one at the year end sale last year because it was 50% off. I thought it was cute with the snowflakes, but I really don't use it a lot because I enjoy the labels so much. 
doesn't really feel like I need to hide them in any way. Now that's just a preference for me. Other people may like to have a more decorative sleeve on top of the soaps. The only suggestion I make if you are going to purchase one of this decorative sleeves is depending if you're getting the deep cleansing or if you're getting the foaming, the bottles are different sizes. The deep cleansing is skinnier and the foaming is wider and the deep cleanser is taller and the foaming is shorter. So make sure you buy the one that is um, appropriate for the type of soap that you bought. On this one here, I happen to just get lucky and purchase the one that's for the gentle um, foaming hand wash. So I got lucky there. But I only purchased one and I really don't use it a lot. So those were my St. Patrick's Day soaps. Now this last set, I just recently bought this past week. They are the new fall. 2013 soaps. Now I don't have all of them and I'm missing some of the Halloween ones so I do plan on going back this week because with my purchase I got a coupon that I plan on using for 20% off so I'm going to go back and purchase the missing ones. The first one here is pumpkin cupcake. Look how delicious that cupcake looks and how cute. I can't wait to use this one in my bathroom. Okay, the next one here is the Harvest Marmalade. Now, this one here is an orange scent. I have no problems with putting these in a kitchen as well. I actually should put them in a kitchen so I use them up quicker. There's a lot of scents that would work great in the kitchen. This one would work great in the kitchen too. It's the Pumpkin Caramel Latte. It smells like coffee. So fun to wash your hands in the morning to the scent of coffee. It kind of wakes you up a little bit. And I'm not even a coffee drinker and I love it. Look at the cute pumpkin face in the coffee. I love it. And this one's a really, really pretty one. This is probably the real uh, floral scented one versus all the other ones that were more food oriented. And last but not least is the sugar maple and the sugar maple I've actually been using. I've had this out for the last couple of days and you can see it's used a little bit and I really like this. It smells like pancake syrup and just, I don't know, smells like the fall to me. So I'm really enjoying it. And that's it guys. Those were all of my soaps. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I really love sharing my hauls with you guys because I love watching yours. If you have a Bath and Body Works haul video of any kind, just Put it down in the comments below. I would love to watch it. Thanks so much for joining me tonight and I will be back with more soon.